All right. Today's super exciting. So we have... Uh... Hmm, should click out of that for a minute. It's loud. We'll mess with them with the volume in a minute. We have uh, my first look at Battletech. I received a key for this about, I think, yesterday and haven't had any time to check it out at all. So this is my absolute first look. Super, super excited about it. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're going to check that out today. I'm going to start with campaign. If it's really good, I'm going to try some multiplayer at some point. It has a multiplayer. It's designed to have a multiplayer. I am excited about that. This is MechWarrior meets XCOM and... I'm excited about this. Uh, we also recorded a D&D session. Uh, not our regular crew. Uh, didn't have Adam available. He canceled uh, kind of last minute. We were some uh, work-related stuff. Uh, so no problems with him. He's still fine and whatnot. But I uh, wasn't able to record this week. But we did an emergency one-off where D&D um, with me DMing. And had a Roomba as a guest. So uh, just check that out if you get a moment and are interested and follow the D&D campaign. I thought it was a pretty good one. Had a lot of fun with it. Uh, feel free to give me feedback on my DMing, um, since it was not my first time, but my second time ever. And yeah, some kind of bad news about that. It seems Zylo will uh, be leaving us in June, so we're looking for a uh, player to replace him. And if uh, all goes well with the Roomba, that, that might be a good fit. We'll see how it works from his perspective and our perspective after a little bit more with that. So yeah, Battletech. All right, without further ado, let's jump into it. I gotta remember to repeat those announcements uh, a couple times today. But uh, yeah, let's check it out. Thanks, Gex. Oh, I wanted to tweet this. Hold on. Let's grab that real quick, too. And then, uh, yeah. All right. Alright, let's tweet that out. And let's check it out. So, we're gonna start with campaign. New campaign, brand new fresh campaign. Okay. Maybe. Oh god. Battletech not responding. Concern? Oh god. Does the game have anything else besides the battles? Yes it does. You it's it's just like XCOM, it has campaign and it has tactical and strategic side. Uh the tactical side of that is the battles, and the strategic side of that is you're managing a mercenary group. So you have income, you choose missions, this type of stuff. I haven't played it yet, so all I played is a skirmish. This is my first look, absolute first look, just like with you guys. Um seems to have some load times here. I am Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Coromadir, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. Thanks, Gex. A hero would have done better. I don't know yet. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times. About the Star League. A golden age of prosperity. Upheld by the great mech warriors of old. Guardians of the innocent. Protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause, or just in my money. Money. But whether it was your noble heart 
or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. All right. So, welcome to the Oregon Reach. Arrogant? I don't know what it said. Small kingdom in the Rimworld periphery, periphery. Region of space that lies the outskirts of more densely colonized inner sphere. It's home to the coalition, a federation organized around a parliamentary monarchy and ruled by the Arano family. Uh, okay, remain the relatively peaceful corner of the periphery, but here the story begins. Okay. Oh, I don't even know about that, Kex. Um, but both you and Aqua have... Uh, permissions on Nightbot to set up Nightbot to set up repeating things. If you want to set up a repeating ad for that, that's fine. All right. Let's take a look. Ooh. We get to choose where we came from. Oh man, I wonder if this is like Oh, that's Quitters nice. Never win. Of course, we're going to make a totally uninformed decision here. Uh Welcome back, Wahala well, there. Uh does it tell me what they do? I'm getting, getting, I'm getting lore, but I'm not getting differences here. Passionate justice and equality. No, we're a mercenary group. Righteous warriors are champions of liberty. The paladins of the MechWare universe. Fuck off. Hardy, well-equipped, well-trained. Reputation for not being particularly strategic thinkers. We're dumb. That's what you sell me on this one. All right. Clever and unorthodox tactics on the field. Sounds like I might want to have a little bit of game under my belt first. Stubborn and aggressive. Quick to anger. That sounds perfect. We found out we found our match. Alright. The Torian Concordant. Concordat? I don't know. It feels like there should be an N in there if that's concordant. Anyways. Let's check these guys out. I don't know why. Just like the like that. Though immigrants to the Reach, your family soon established a comfortable presence in a small backwater system on the edge of uh, Oregon space. By the time you were born, your family had become the de facto ruling nobility of the pl uh, system's only inhabited planet. You were the oldest child, heir to the family's titles, and ancestral battle mech, an old blackjack BJ-1. This is where you met your... met somebody. A veteran of the succession wars, who your parents hired for a, reason, for a season to train you as a mech warrior. Music's too loud again. Raju was a strict but capable teacher, and you quickly became a skilled pilot under his tutelage. It was an uneventful life. Seriously? It's an uneventful life when you learn to drive a mech warrior? I don't know about that. Until the day after your 16th birthday. Oh, it's choose your own adventure? Exiled. Your family died in an accident. Your family was betrayed. Exiled? At 16? Jesus, your parents must have been strict. What did you do? Steal the... You know what it was? We stole the mech wire and went for a joyride. Let's just go with Betrayed. Okay. Oh, look, there's actually stats associated with this. Now I gotta think about this. Gunnery and Tactics. Piloting and Tactics. Tactics and Guts. Piloting and Guts. Gunnery and Guts. Do I know what these things do? Oh, wait, if I mouse over it, it tells me. Yeah. Gunnery determines the chance to hit with range weaponry. Yes. Guts. Improve the maximum health, reduces the penalty from weapon recoil, increases the threshold of heat that triggers overheated. Increases melee hit chance and sprint distance. So those are my only options. Gunnery, guts, and piloting. Is there a gunnery and... There's no gunnery and piloting option. Oh, what's tactics? I don't think we've seen tactics yet. It's a new one. Increases the effectiveness of called shot opportunities. It also reduces the penalty for indirect fire and improves the maximum range of weaponry. Hmm. Well, I feel like gunnery is a thing. Oh, I steal the blackjack anyways. So... <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Uh, let's try gunnery and tactics. We were exiled. Alright. I don't know what any of this, these stats do yet, so like we can we can we can mouse over them, read them, and try to get a sense of it, but it doesn't necessarily mean we understand what they do yet. 
Out on your own, you fell into the life of a... Soldier, pirate, gladiator, mercenary, freelancer, guard. Gunnery, guts, gunnery, tactics, tactics, piloting. All right. I like the idea of another gunnery. Hitting things in games where you make decisions based on conditional hits is always nice. Grab gunnery again. Coalition soldier, done. On an ill-fated mission, you were caught behind enemy lines and separated from your lance. Raju happened to be on patrol nearby. That's fortuitous. The guy who trained me in childhood also happened to leave the family at the same time and become part of his soldier life. All right, and he launched a daring rescue. And upon finding out it was you he had rescued, he brought you into the House Arno Royal Guard. So it is that you find yourself reunited with your old mentor, prepared, preparing your ancestral blackjack for guard duty on the coronation day of Lady uh, Kamiya Arano. Whatever her fucker name is. Name and call sign. Well, we know our call sign. That's easy. Oh, last name, first name. Where's my call sign? That'd be the filthy robot, of course. Okay. First name, do we care? Does it matter? Doesn't make any difference at all. That's not us. I don't want to, oh no, I was, I was lying. I wanted to randomize. Oh. All right, first flaw we found with the game. We need to randomize. I don't want to ever have to choose facial features as part of my gameplay experience. Uh... Wait, are there men in this group? It doesn't matter, it's fine. It's fine. Alright. There we are. In a horrible shaving accident, we lost all of our hair. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, pro <laughs> pronoun? Seriously? Pronoun? Really, game? Alright. They? What are the pictures for they? All right, there's the male portraits. But our hair regrew, done, sold. Do we get, do we get a nose ring or is that light? Oh, thank God, all right, it's just light, no nose ring. All right. Enter our first name. I gotta tell my wife that, she's gonna be too, I gotta go tell her that, right back. Oops, wrong thing. She's gonna be amused by that. I don't know. It's just really funny. All right. Uh, I don't think we're doing this part. Can we just go next? All right. Fine. There we go. All right. Character backstory. Okay. We got gunnery and tactics and gunnery. So we're gunnery four, piloting two, tactics three, guts two, pronoun he. There we go. Let's confirm. We're a handsome devil. We got an achievement for managing to do that. Tell us the reaction. She thought it was great. He's a bad guy. Look at his face. She refuses to enact her uncle's directive, and he's not happy. On the morning of Lady Arno's ascension to the throne, her loyal captain of the guard, Raju, makes preparations to escort her safely to the coronation procession that awaits in Cordia City. Cordia City? Cordage City? I don't know. Whatever. Good. I'm, maybe I'm getting some vibes. It'd be great if they had some, like, tyranny-like style, like, decisions here. 
All right, Arno Summer Palace, 8.53 local time. Damn, we missed it by like 20 minutes. Shit, we're late. Coronation day, what's going on? Gotta work on these loading times. All right, yeah, I'm fine with loading times where I get pictures. I don't like loading times without pictures. Black screen loading time leaves me worried. No, Battletech isn't released yet. This is a uh, pre-release copy. The embargo for streaming lifted today. So, this is the first day. Of, I'm an hour past the embargo. The embargo actually lifted at 8 a.m. my time. It's 9 a.m. my time now, or a little bit after 9. All right, let's begin mission. Command interface initiated. All right. Move the mouse to the edge of the screen for WSCG to move. Move the mouse to the edge of the screen or use WSA for move camera, okay. All right, looks good, looks good, looks good. Is there an objective here? Am I supposed to go there? Also, where's my... Okay. Uh... Standard field tests, great. Uh, do me a favor, get the battle tech moving. Let's see if there are any kinks in the actuators. All right, cycle in your mech warrior's portrait, or press tab to cycle between units. Okay, XCOM controls, great. Um, I'll come right out and say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's gonna be more to this job than escort duty. Okay. Um, if your mouse to the indicated point, click once to select where you wish to move. Click again to choose which direction to face. Okay, I want to go to there, and I want to face that way. God, this mech looks awkward. All right. Right here, we something wrong in the capital. It's been too quiet since High uh, Lord Tamati's funeral, and I'm worried about Lady Kamiya's safety during her coronation process. Okay. Anyways, looks like your actuators check out. Let's conduct the weapons test. Target one of those burnt out uh, old urban mechs and open fire. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything, but my gut tells me something's off. He probably has extra gut instincts. points. Select a target with your mouse. Press tab to cycle between targets. Click fire. Uh, do I select the target first? Uh, that actually gives me a zoomed in on them. It shows me their status of their stuff, all right? How do I zoom back out? Escape. Okay. And if I just go for attack, does it just shoot the one, or does it... Okay. Let's shoot that guy. He looks like an asshole. All weapons committed. about what I want to have happen when I fire weapons. Good. Okay. Now there's some ass always like, his morning was slightly different. Our morning was we got up, we got into our enormous mech warrior. His morning was like, yeah, go get in the tank, bro. Uh, take it for a spin. Don't worry about any mechs that are shooting lasers nearby. So uh, hopefully we'll make his morning a little bit more interesting. Uh, Raju, apparently while training us, was also training Lady Arno. Uh, she can be native. She can be naive at times and proud, but I have no doubt she'll be just a just and effective ruler. Music swells. It's on us to see her safety to Cordia City. I'll rest easier once she's in the capital. Oh, her cousin Victoria by her side. Oh my God, music. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Camille's like a daughter to me, and her late father, High Lord Tamati was a good friend. All right, we're gonna have to deal with this now. I don't know why game developers do this. I mean, I like some, I like some epic music in my games, but it feels like the the basic music setting seems Twitter's to be never oh, about seventy five percent higher than it needs to be. Let's try with this. Okay. All right. Donation from Cubix, thanks, man. Is there renaming? If there is, I don't know yet. I'll add you to the list if there is. Uh, and Esmeraldio's resub. Cheers for new as well, man. So, all right. Let's continue. No, not quit the desktop. No, not save. How do I back out of here? Continue. Resume. I need voice activated commands. Well, I don't. That would actually be terrible for a streamer, but you get the idea. All right, so they wanted us to shoot the, the guy who's driving the fire at the target in the forest, okay? They want me to shoot him in the back. Can I move? Movement is prohibited. Oh, I have different types of guns. Fancy. All right. Sure. 
weapons committed. Quitters never win. Well, I've seen more impressive laser shots. I can only one shot that entire match. But she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Thank you, Kamea. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in a fight. Welcome back. All right. So she's a glorious mech warrior while simultaneously being a ruler. Feels like she's covering a lot of ground. Maybe there's not a lot of people in her her entourage. All weapons committed. Huh? I'm being bitted. Thank you, Nibless. Enemy unit destroyed. Can do. More bits. Cheers, Cubix. Thank you, Nibless. I'll add you both to the list. I think Cubix is already on the list, but add him in there. Okay. Uh, I know you're not familiar with the politics, but the Reach was badly shaken up by the Lord's death. It needs a smooth transfer of power, and Kamiya belongs on the Cormant throne. Okay. Fire up my jump jets. I want to see you descend the cliff face. Aim for the patch of ground over there near the edge of the lake. Okay. Jump to the mark location. All right. Jump there. And face that way. Engaging jump jets. They look very awkward, the mechs, don't they? Not fluid yeah, at all. Yeah, of that. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. All right. Plasma leak detected. Okay. Uh. Okay, so my jump jets are no good anymore. So there's time to get your jump jets replaced, so we're gonna have to do make do without them. Go ahead and take that mech down with the melee attack. That seem really wise. Okay. Melee attack. Click the melee targeting reciprocal on the enemy, or press reticle rather, or press V to jump through, okay, cycle through melee targets. All right, where's, okay, let's melee his ass. Can we melee him in the back? No, we can only melee him in the side. That seems useless. All right, melee attack using pil uses piloting skill to hit and it ignores evasive. Hit removes guarded, deals damage, and stability damage, all right. What are we gonna punch him with? We don't have arms. We're gonna headbutt him? Oh, he kicked him. Yeah, we did. Like a no-handed kickboxer mech, I like it. Good hit! At least that's solid. All right, one last test. I want you to take your blackjack up to sprint and evade my attack. Push that engine, kid. If something goes wrong today, I want to know that your mech can maneuver. All right. The harder you move, the more evasive charges you gain. Each evasive makes you harder to hit. Sure, sure. That's as far as I can sprint. Maybe I should have taken some more piloting skill. Is he going to shoot me now? Tutorial disguised as training. It's not disguised. I knew what it was. Congratulations, filthy robot. Your blackjack's as combat ready as it may as it can be, given the circumstances. For what it's worth, I hope that my suspicions turn out to be unfounded and we end the day having a good laugh about what a paranoid old man I become. Ha ha ha. But if not, then I'll know that you're really ready. Alright, it's time to move out. That's all the training we need for the potential ruler of this planet. Um, good luck, have fun. Great. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Oh, she's course, watching? This mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. Alright. Do I have to go there? It's just like two turns out. Return to Mastiff. How do I sprint? Oh, I click sprint. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to return towards him to watch him. Yeah, kick him! Oh, I wanted a little sidekick as we ran by him. That would have been beautiful. All right, we're gonna meet her. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, a little bit of friendly banter. Chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. Okay. Mission. God, we made it, guys. Pro pilot.
Her name is wife in Spanish. <laughs> I didn't know that. Is that what Victoria means? Seriously? A gleaming endowment. Thank you, Gal. Remember the Oregon Reach of old. The time the of the great expansion. I was just a boy then. He's the bad guy. We went forth, bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. And for what? To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? Year after year, the council deliberates while our economy falters, and the wolves bay at every door, while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say it can go no further. Oh, he's a nationalist. Okay. We are here today because if Lady Orana will not act, someone must. I know what I'm asking of you. You will face former comrades, or even loved ones, on the battlefield. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, today we sacrifice so that tomorrow we can return our kingdom to its proper glory, to its proper strength. So should you fall tonight, know that you did so as true heroes of the Reach. To your stations! For the directorate. Too soon, game. Too soon. We've got a nationalist leader and uh, proper pronoun usage. All right. Uh. Okay. So, uh, some questions in chat. One was Filthy's birthday. Mine was on the 13th. Uh, have I done my finger exercises this morning? I've done one set. The next set I'll do at 10. And let's take a look. Coronation Day. Coronation Day invaded by giant mechs floating from the sky. Sounds like fun. They're peace pellets, not bombs? I think you're correct. Oh, yeah, I saw Cubix. I saw that you, said you corrected it to her last name. You have to point it out again when she shows up. I didn't, I, whatever. Victoria wife, huh? All right, we'll see. We'll see if that was uh, not very uh, clever uh, for, foreshadowing here. Okay. I told you he was a bad guy. You could tell he was a bad guy. The way they painted his face. Those bad guy lines. I don't know exactly what it is. I'm not an artist, but I bet you that's like day two of like painting school. It's like, here's how you paint bad guys. <laughs> Emphasis on bottle galk. <laughs> uh, I'm going, I'm out of town this weekend. Uh, I'll be, it will be a short stream tomorrow, which actually really sucks because of the timing of Battletech. Uh, but Saturday and Sunday, I'm out of town visiting my parents. Uh, and I think I will probably be doing some damage to the liver there, galk. Will be uh, critical hits on that liver all weekend long, so. I know, right? Civil wars are the best way to strengthen economies. I agree. I was also wondering, like, what wolves are baying at the door? Like, I don't know. They did say we're part of a, a small... Ex it looks like in this universe, there's multiple spheres of government of humans who have spread out across the universe a little bit. Multiple planets, multiple solar system stuff. So maybe. All right. Command interface initiated. All right. She loves riding the cockpit of a battle mech. Okay, simplicity of it, but there they are. Just up ahead, the city gates of my future all laid out before me. And smoke. Wait, you didn't notice? We just had a whole cutscene. Were you not watching your, your mech way or view monitor here? What were you doing? Painting the nails? Guard post. One of the small ones at Dusty Roads leading into the capital with emergency bands. It's been quiet all morning. I haven't heard anything about any fire. This is damned odd. And I don't like it. Kid, keep your head on a swivel and be ready for anything. So what was she doing up until this point? I don't understand this. Okay. All right, sounds good, Gal. All right, let's take a look. So I can sprint all the way up to there, or I can move. Let's move to there. I wonder if I can move again after a sprint. Is it like a uh, blue move, uh, yellow move in XCOM? I'm assuming it will be. Aye, aye. Plus evasive out of that. Am I done moving now? Oh, it looks like I might be done moving now. Awkward. All right. Sounds good. I'm moving. Well, that's good. You can move while the other guys are moving, so I don't have to wait for animations to finish. That's nice. Okay. Round two. Investigate the guard post. What could go wrong? It's not a trap. I promise. By not. They want me to move to that tile. Can I move? Can we move there as a, just a walk? 
one tile out of walk range. Fuck that. Acknowledged. I'm yeah, moving. we'll send her up first. She seems disposable. Some sort of explosion. No chance. See those scorch marks on the rubble? That's laser fire. We need to get you out of here right now. There's a patrol of Royal Guard mechs up ahead. We should go go to them. Whatever's happening here, I won't let it derail your coronation. Your people need you. Dude, this guy's all over the place. He just told her to leave. I will prove myself worthy of the faith you've placed in me. Aren't we walking to the coronation? That I have no doubt. So if we're walking to the coronation, he's like, we have to leave. Now he's like, but I'll get you coronated. Or whatever you do. Whatever the actual, I guess, verb of coronation is. I don't know. Anyways. All right. Let's keep moving. We don't have time for this. We can. We can. The finer points of, uh, of language can be dealt with later. Right. I don't trust these guardsmen. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure they're going to shoot us. So, um, 